What's up guys, my name is Adat and welcome to another squad builder on my channel. So this is the most expensive squad builder I have ever done on my channel. So this is a 2.5 million coin squad. So it's going to set you guys back a lot of coins but I think it's worth it and I'll tell you um, guys in the video and in the highlights. So. To start off in goal we have Leno, he cost me 7.1k and by far out of all the keepers I've tried, even Neuer, De Gea, he is my favourite keeper, there's just something about him, like he hasn't got that OP like feel to him like Jack Butland, but he is very good in this game, Leno is actually my favourite keeper, he cost me about 7.1k, he's that cheap and he's made some ridiculous saves. Um, I'm doing really well in foot champions right now, like undefeated, well not undefeated, I have lost one game, but I have won 9 games, um, so guys this weekend I'm not going to be showing you guys my foot champs games, because I'm probably not going to play them all to be honest, um, 40 games this weekend, it's not really like, I haven't really found the time to play 40 games this weekend, but I'm not sure, some um, weekends I'll try and make time for the weekend league, others I won't be able to. So that is who we have in goal, we have Leno in goal. So, moving on to our right back, we have Demarcus. This guy, like, I've used him in so many squads, he's never let me down. Demarcus, he costs 1.5k. I've played 35 games on this occasion with him, but I've played, I think I've accumulated around about 200, 300 um, games with Demarcus. Just, I just use him in all my expensive squads, and I just keep playing with him. He's my favourite right back on um, in the Liga BBVA, um, La Liga Santander, sorry guys. And he's probably like my favourite, not my favourite right back, but he's up there with my favourite right backs. So, in the centre back position now, we have Pepe. So, in the centre back position, you guys are probably thinking, why haven't I got Ramos? Because Ramos is the obvious, you know, most the expensive player that everyone everyone seems to have in the expensive La Liga Santander squads. But I thought of giving Pepe a chance. 19.5k for 88 rated centre back of Pepe's caliber. I played 35 games with him, so I played a lot of games with him. Well, not a lot, but I played enough to kind of get a feeling of how he is on a consistent basis. And to be honest, I don't see any difference between Pepe and Ramos. Pepe is just as good as Ramos in my opinion. And he costs, you know, 100k less, which is which is good. If you're getting the same out of both players and one is 100k less, then I don't see why you're going with Ramos in opposed to Pepe. Unless you're going for a full Spanish squad. Or um, Ramos gives you chem in um, to another player. That's the only like reason I should see is someone else choosing Ramos instead of Pepe. But in my opinion, there isn't much difference. It might be different to other people, but that's just my opinion of Pepe. So next to um, Pepe, we have Boating. Guys, you can't go wrong with Boating. 182k I paid for this guy. Um, I think it was, this is the same card as the card I used in the last squad builder, my 750k Bundesliga squad builder. If you haven't um, checked out, I'll leave an um, annotation in the description so you guys can go and check that out. 182k Boateng cost me and he is absolutely amazing, like probably hands down the best centre back I've tried in this game. There's just something about him, he's just an amazing defender. Literally, like, no one can get past him. I haven't tried many of the legends, but when I get onto them, I'll see really how good this Boateng is in comparison to the legend centre backs. So we have Boateng, and obviously, I don't really have to say much about Alaba really. He's just there, you know, he goes well with Boateng, he does the same He's the Boating of left back, let's just say that, he's just as good as Boating, but in the left back position. Um, and he gets that green link, so green links, that is very important because I haven't got a full Bundesliga squad, so these green links are essential to getting me 100 chemistry. So now onto the midfield guys. Now, we get onto our first really expensive player, and it is Team of the Year Iniesta. You guys are think, um, thinking, 
Why? 655k? Yeah, it's a team of the year card, but is he much better than his normal card? Is it really worth paying the, you know, extra? I don't even know how much his normal card is. I think it's really cheap. But guys, this card is something else. I've never tried a centre mid. Well, a centre mid as good as Iniesta. Trying him from this position, he's like scored 15 goals in 35 games and has got 18 assists. And Iniesta's normal card, he does... Like, literally, he's just a player. He doesn't change the game. He's just in there for the sake of being in there. But this Iniesta, guys, is something else. His long shots are amazing. His play is just amazing. His long shots, his finishing. He's literally, like, him and, like, Messi. All the chances Messi has had and all the chances Iniesta has had. Iniesta has finished far more chances um, than Messi. And he's been given much less, as you guys will see when I go on to Messi um, in this video. So now in the centre mid, so we have Modric. Like, you can't go wrong with Modric yet again. 63k, 35 games, 9 goals and 11 assists. And he's meant to be more of a defensive-minded player. And Modric is doing stuff like this. He's just an all-round beast. And the same as the person next to him, Arturo Vidal. Hands down, the best CDM in Bundesliga. He's going to set you back around about 114k. And I've literally played so many games with this guy. I used him back in my foot champions run when I went. I think I got about 32 wins, which was really good. Well, it wasn't... Actually, it was 31 wins. It isn't, like, the great, the greatest, but it's, it's not too bad, guys. Um, I've got high in the past, but 31 wins is not too bad. It's still a lead, and um, every FIFA player, well, m most FIFA players, the average FIFA players, they just want to finish a lead. And with the likes of Vidal, and if you know what you're doing, then you guys are going to finish in a lead if you just focus up and play your game. So now, we are getting to the most interesting part of the video, where we show our forwards, and we have... In right forward, Lino Messi, 865k he cost me. In 35 games, he's managed to score 33 goals and 22 assists. Guys, literally, Messi is on another level. Um, the previous years I've tried him, I haven't thought too much of him, but this year, he's up there with Ronaldo. Like, Ronaldo's good, but Messi's just as good. They used to be, Ronaldo used to just be ridiculously good in the past FIFAs, and Messi just used to be, you know, in his shadow. Nobody really used Messi, but now people are starting to really use Messi, simply because he's just really good. I just find Messi, like, great to use. He's got very good dribbling, he's got very good pace. He's got high sprint speed and he's got high stamina and you can really tell that in the gameplay. Re um, decent work rates as well and he's got a, le a preferred foot off the left foot with 4 star skill moves. So that's very good for, you know, Messi. EA have really done him justice in this FIFA. So now in the striker position, this is where, you know, looking at the stats guys, you're probably like, what I'm about to say is ridiculous. I bought him for 180k. 33 goals in 35 games with 28 assists, but guys, this Aubameyang, like, I, I choose Griezmann over Aubameyang any day. Aubameyang's got the pace, like, he's contributed a lot, like, you guys can see the stats, but in-game he's had so many more chances, and he doesn't offer you much, like, outside the box, you can't take a long shot outside of the box like Griezmann, and, it, and when Griezmann takes a long shot, it's most likely going to end up into the back of the net if you shoot it from the right angle. But with Aubameyang, I don't really see that in him. And he's got three-star skill moves, so you can't really do any Berber spins inside. He's got good height, guys, but I don't really like Aubameyang too much. He's scored a lot of goals and he's got a lot of assists, but I'd prefer using Griezmann over Aubameyang. So tell me if you guys um, prefer a Bamiyang or Griezmann in the comment section down below. I really like to get your guys' opinions to who you guys prefer. So last but not least, in the left forward position, we have Marco Reus. So in 39 games, he scored 15 goals, got 15 assists. He's kind of the, um, an average player. He gets the job done. You can justify paying 115k for him. And he's got 90 pace, 86 dribbling, and 85 shooting, which is very good for a player like Marco Royce. He's also got that 4-star skills and that 4-star weak foot. So 
I have a foot, it shouldn't see much of a problem, and the skill moves allows for him to cut inside, do many things, be an un unpredictable player, because the players with the three star skill moves, you can't do many skills with them, you can do roulettes, you can do ball rows, but the McGeady spins and stuff like that, that you need to do to, you know, really give you that edge on your opponent, um, three star skill, three star skillers haven't really got that, but if you guys are good at the game and you're just better than your opponent, that shouldn't be a massive problem. So guys, this is probably where like the squad builder is going to end. I'm going to go into the gameplay, but before I get into the gameplay, you guys can probably see Sanchez, Chan and Inform Kalanoglu on my bench. You guys probably don't know what they're doing there. Uh, doing there, but the other day, I think it was yesterday actually, or the day before, EA released three packs for the Chinese New Year, and I packed Walkout Sanchez, guys. I haven't got the footage, but yeah, as you guys can see right there, first owner, first owner Sanchez, two games, two goals, 86 pace. Like, I really wanted to try out Sanchez for this whole FIFA, really, and it's very good because I've got him first owner, and he's untradeable. Um, it isn't great that he's untradeable, but I'll probably keep him there because he's a very good substitute. And we also packed that Kalinoglu as well. Like, I packed Sanchez and um, Kalinoglu in that free pack, so I'll take it, guys. And we got Emre Chan in the free pack, but there's not much to say about Emre Chan. He's just a good CDM. So, guys, I'm going to get into the gameplay now, and I'll do a post -com. I'll see you guys in the gameplay. So into game number one we go, and we come up against this guy with a very good team, he had Modric, he had Neymar and he also had Bale up top, so I knew it was going to be a tough game, and this was in seasons, not the usual daily knockout tournament um, games I play. I chose to play in the daily knock uh, in the seasons because, you know, just to show you guys that I can play in seasons as well as daily knockout tournaments, so literally like there's no excuses for not being able to perform in foot champions you can't really blame the team if i'm coming up against the best opponents not really the best opponents but very good opponents in division one people who have some knowledge of the game so we managed to win um we managed to win our first game 2-1 which was quite good so i got straight into another game this guy that sbc son who's just a very good player i don't know what it is about son He's just very good, like, he's so agile, he can just get past the best defenders in this game. And he's got very good finishing, and he's got a physical presence in this game, which kind of makes him very good. But we make it 2-0 here, and going into half time, I was pretty comfortable. But then this guy gets this goal, and that kind of tilted me a bit. But I did manage to hold on to win that game 2-1. That guy made a few chances, but... I also made a few chances and I managed to win 2-1, so that was a fair result in my opinion. I think I should have actually had more goals to be honest guys. So we go into our next game and this guy was a very good player. He made a chance with Ericsson, managed to put it away and then I had um, a problem actually breaking his defence. He was a very good player guys and eventually my time came, Aubameyang did a fake shot. And we managed to score a goal. And after that goal went in, he didn't really give up. He just slacked a bit. And I had chance after chance. And eventually, last kick of the game in the 90th minute, I win the game and I make it 2-1. So, this is the last game of this episode and this squad builder. And I really wanted to make it a good game, the best game out of all the games. And this guy had a very good team and on top of that, he was a very good player. It took a lot for me to break him down. This is the game where I, was actually, where I was actually trying my hardest. The other games, I was trying, but I wasn't really trying my hardest. But that guy went 1-0 um, up very early on in the game. So I was kind of chasing the game. I scored one goal. I scored the equaliser with Iniesta, I think it was. And then I scored a second. And I was, then I scored a third with a Babi Yang. And then I managed to score a fourth with Messi. And at this point, this guy was just getting kind of frustrated. He had to go all out attack at this point, and we do manage to make it 5 1 here. So that is how this game um, ends, and this is how the squad builder is going to end. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.